What's up everybody, MonkeyDo22 here as a part of the Xbox Ambassadors program for another Xbox support tip. This video today I'm going to show you how to set up game streaming for the Oculus Rift on Windows 10. Now it was announced a while back that uh, game streaming was going to be coming to Oculus Rift through Xbox One as a feature. This was announced back during the Oculus Rift press conference where they stated the price and release date of the Oculus Rift. Fast forward to a few days ago though and this feature is now a reality. So why would you want to use the Oculus Rift uh, as opposed to your TV for game streaming? Well, say for example, you've got somebody who wants to watch TV while you still want to play Xbox One. You can still do that through game streaming on Windows 10. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how this works. First thing you want to do is make sure you have your Xbox app opened up on your Windows 10 PC and make sure you're signed into your account. Now that you're signed into your account on the Xbox app, you want to do the same thing for the Oculus app. Um, now that we're signed into our account on the Oculus app, you want to go ahead and search in the store for the Xbox app by hitting the spyglass and typing in Xbox. You'll go ahead and see the Xbox One streaming app here. Now, I went ahead and installed it already, but it's only a megabyte, so it doesn't take that long. Once you've got that done, you can go ahead and hit start, and it's going to go ahead and launch the Xbox One streaming app for the Oculus Rift here. Uh, you'll see this here on the desktop, and I'm going to see the same thing on my headset. So now that it's started up, make sure it's in the foreground, make sure this is the focused window, otherwise it'll have a little message popping up and letting you know otherwise. Uh, but now that we've got the app open, we can go ahead and put on the Oculus Rift headset. And right here, it'll say that it's looking for your Xbox One console. If you have multiple consoles, that's where you're going to want to choose which one is your Xbox, but uh, I only have one connected right now. Uh, so right now, we're in our virtual environment here. And you can kind of look around. There's a kind of uh, kind of industrial feel going on to this setting here. Uh, say, for example, you don't like this and you want something different. Well, you've got a couple of different options. All you need to do is focus down here to the environments. Hit A on your controller and you'll see the retreat, citadel, which we're in now, or the dome. Let's go ahead and check out the retreat real quick. And uh, as we check out the retreat, got a nice looking sunset here, some water... Uh, got another, it looks like another house over there. Maybe somebody else is using the Xbox One streaming app. It's kind of cool there. Now let's check out the dome real quick. So we take a look at the dome, and this is probably my favorite one. You've got a, like a virtual environment here where you're in a dome, and you got like these cool little constellation things in the background. And right here, you've got your TV all set up. Now, just like in all the environments and all the different settings, you're going to have these three icons that come into focus here where you've got the environments, the Xbox icon and the settings icon. Let's take a look at the settings icon real quick as we launch Forza Horizon 3. And uh, as we take a look at the settings, you've got the display, audio and network. If you take a look in display, you are going to have a couple of different options here where you can change the depth and how farther away or how close the TV is to you. Uh, now, this is kind of all relative. It's a, a lot closer in the uh, Oculus Rift itself. Uh, that's probably a little too close, but you can move it back there. And the other thing is here, by uh, taking a look at these instructions, you can change the curvature. And so this is going to bring the TV more into a curved feel. Or you can change the height, and that's by just moving it up and down on the right thumbstick here. Uh, the other options you have here is for audio. So say that you uh, don't necessarily like this environment audio and you want to change things around. Well, that's pretty simple, quick, and easy. Um, all you need to do is just slide left or right on the environment audio here. Now, the other thing is here, you've got the network settings. Now, the network here is where you have your streaming quality at very high, high, medium, or low. If you're using a wired connection, I would highly recommend that you use the uh, maybe the high or the very high setting because it's going to be you know, the best quality is you can get over the wireless setting, your network settings may vary. So in that case, I might choose a high, medium or low, depending on how well your network environment is set up. Um, so since we're using the very high, we're good to go here. You'll see the option, of course, for connected console. Um, this is if you had, like I said previously, multiple Xbox One consoles, you can disconnect from this console and automatically hook up with another right like that. So as you might know, if you have an Oculus Rift, if you hit the Xbox Guide button on your controller, it's going to bring up the Oculus menu. It's not going to bring up the Xbox dashboard in this case. So how do you do that? Well, if you focus down on the Xbox button here and hit the A button, just a short press, it's going to bring up the dashboard. Uh, just like you remember on the Xbox One, it's all fully functional there. Um, the only thing that you want to remember there is if you want to do a long press, like I said, the same thing. It's going to bring up the Oculus menu. So instead, just hold the A button on it, and you're going to have an emulated 
you know setting here where basically it's going to bring up the uh, the uh, shutdown screen or you can turn off streaming turn off the controller things like that um, so that's how you do that so in other words if you get a notification and you want to open the notification just go ahead and long press on that xbox button and it's going to allow you to do that there so quick and easy and as you can see we're playing forza horizon 3 just like you would on a xbox one on a normal tv only we got a virtual tv we can kind of look around with so it's kind of cool um, really cool feature actually um, the one thing that i want to mention right here real quick um, is hdcp streaming content so this is going to be like netflix hulu um, YouTube, things like that. If you are planning to use game streaming to kind of stream that uh, HDCP protected content, you might run into an issue. Not all HDCP protected content is going to stream for you. This is mainly a solution for people that want to play Xbox games, not necessarily something for people to use for streaming uh, video content. So just keep that in mind uh, whenever you try to use different kind of apps on the uh, the Oculus Rift here. With that said, uh, that's game streaming on Oculus Oculus Rift through Windows 10 and the Xbox app. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, let me know in the comments section. I'll do my best to answer those as quickly as possible. I know that this is a new feature and there's not a lot of resources available, so I'm happy to try to help you figure out a solution to get you back up and running with that. If you found this video helpful, please do let me know by leaving a like and subscribe as I do post content daily, if not weekly. I usually post Let's Plays, Xbox tip videos, as well as Oculus Rift content. So I'd love to have you along for the ride there. That said, I'm MonkeyDo22 on Xbox Live. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on Xbox Live.